How's it going everybody? Blake from MBK Outdoors here. Uh, today we're going to be doing some trout fishing in the Driftless area in southwest Wisconsin. I got my friend Brandon with me off somewhere. He's going to try to catch his first brown trout. Besides that we're going to be using some Panther Martin spinners and trying to get on some fish. I hope you enjoy. Fish, fish, fish. There we go. Oh, that's a nice trout, too. No, not quite. Oh, this is a pretty one, dude. Finally, all right, we're finally hooked up. We finally started fishing after sort of a death march. This is a beautiful golden colored brown. And unfortunately, I was, oh, I made the poor mistake of not bringing a net. Hey, perfect. Check that out. Beautiful golden colored brown shell. It's got some awesome colors. All right, there's the first brown trout of the day. We're gonna be fishing with some small Panther Martins. This is, I believe, a size six, just in the gold color. Just running it along the deep banks and deep pools and trying to pull out some brown trout. There's a fish, little dude. Okay. That's awesome, dogging. Oh, he's gone. All right, that's okay. Got one. Oh, that was epic. I saw him come out from the rocks into the middle of the river into nothingness. And he just came out and smacked it. Oh, he's doing the death roll. All right, buddy. As I mentioned earlier, I neglected to bring a net, which was not a good call. Second one I think that's actually been good on video. Fourth or fifth overall. Right, here he is, second decent trout of the day. Oh, nice trout. Nailed it right in the center of the rapids as well. Oh, I think this is a pretty nice one. Oh, he's not huge. Here he goes. All right, I think that makes fish number five. I'm not quite sure. Some of them haven't been on camera, but average size has been pretty good. Most of them have been around 12 or 13. I think that first one I caught might have been closer to 14, but no monsters yet. All right, a little midday update. Uh, we've reached our destination, we've turned back around, and we're maybe about a quarter of the way back to the vehicle. And it's been a little rough. We've only landed about four or five, and Brandon still hasn't landed his first one. We've been getting some bites, it's just not as hot and heavy as it has been in the past, but we're keeping at it. We might downsize baits just a little bit and try to go for a little bit more action. I mean, the ones we have caught haven't been huge, but Hoping maybe downsizing a little bit might help to get some more action. Finally, it's been a while. Another little brown. Oh, there he goes. 
Oh well. Again, not very smart to not bring a net. Let them flopping around and can't corral them in. It almost seems like there's more fish just in these riffles than the pools. Thought it would kind of be the opposite this time of year, but shows how much I know. There's a fish. Again in the riffles. That's interesting. Not a big guy. But I'd actually oh I don't want to bang him around on the rocks. Come here, buddy. Doing the tornado of death. Holy. There we go. Finally I actually landed another fish. That feels good. It's been a while. I've had a couple get off. This is the first one I've actually landed in a little while. Barbless hook should pop right out. Oh, it's kind of caught around his lip. All right, there's another nice trout. Finally, it's, like I said, it's been a little bit of a slow day, so. Nice to get some action. There we go, baby. Before we head out, that's gotta be an epic place to live. Have your house on a big old hill right below, uh, right on top of a nice giant trout stream. That's pretty sweet. Oh, that was a snipe. Oh my gosh. That's ridiculous. Brandon, can you get the big camera out? That was ridiculous. There's like a one foot wide run that I sniped that thing in. Oh, that's a nice trout too. Oh, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Yes, there we go. Ah, take care of him. Okay. That was epic. He was, there was a little run in between a couple of rocks that was maybe only a couple of inch, or uh, maybe a foot wide. He's got a cast sniped in there and he came out and rocked it. Right, here he is. This is the biggest one so far. Nice brown mid-teens probably, maybe around 14, 15. And we're gonna get him back in the water. There he is. Oh no, it's a little one. Dang it. Oh, I had a big fish follow my spinner out from behind that rock. And I throw right back in there and this little guy gets it. Oh well, got something from it at least. Oh, I thought that same one came out and smacked it. I was gonna be so happy. He went for it three times. Oh, I don't know. I wasn't paying enough attention with the camera, but that was awesome. He lulled and then followed it in again after he looked like he was just gonna sit there. That was sick. You got one, you got one. Okay, keep, oh, you've... no, he's off. No. Dang it. I can't believe I actually had one. You, you did have one. Come on. Well, all right, haven't been recording in a little while. Just caught this little guy, and he is likely gonna be the last fish of the day. It's going on about 4.30 here. It's gonna get dark in just a few minutes. All right, last look at our little brown. Send him home.